Hi, Tracy. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. Good afternoon. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Yourself? Yes. I am. I am good. I am hanging in there, staying busy, staying focused, staying positive, which is all we can do, right? Too much crazy right. going on. Right. So yeah, I'm just. I'm just. I'm thankful. I'm blessed. Just have. Um, just been busy. We, my wife and I, we just had a brand new little baby, baby boy, um, on the 18th of June, and then our little baby girl just turned two today. So I have a two-year-old and a little brand new baby boy and a 12 year old. So I'm just busy, Trace, you know, busy yeah. trying to figure out what to do with these kids in school and all the madness going on, you know? All right. Well, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for taking the time and, and reaching out. I just wanted to introduce myself and, and really just see if I can bring some value to what you're doing here on social media to build your real estate business. Thank you. Yes. Yes. So, are you are you doing any online marketing or Facebook ads? I know you did. You try running the like ad. Um, I I did run one ad, um, but again, you know, I'm not real familiar. Uh huh. You know, with with the social media thing. Are you are you trying to build your business on social media, or do you just kind of do well off offline? Um, you know, I know social media is very important, so yeah. I really need to work on it. And it, and it's really it's really more about just the the overall aesthetics and the branding and just the 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 credibility that that one sees when they come to your page. It's not that you have to be a social media butterfly and you're posting all the time on all these platforms. That that's all a waste of time, which I can explain why it's a waste of time. But um, just having your pages optimized and what I mean by optimized is just having them updated, having that having links listed having information on these pages that, that allow people to know not only what you do, but mm -hmm. where they can find you on social media. Because today, it, the, the way we communicate has changed in a, in, a, in, a, in a drastic way where we're now messaging people. We're now, we're now connecting with people, obviously, on social media, but we're also messaging people on social media. And you and I are a perfect example. We connected on, on social media. We messaged on social media. Now we're on a Zoom call without even knowing each other's phone number. Right. You know, so that the way we communicate has changed and, and just social media, just having, having everything updated and updated and allowing people to find you. But then also when they do find you, making these pages stand out is, is what's super important just for your overall brand. And it's what we call social media brand. So I see a lot of a lot of pages, whether they're small business owners or, or real estate agents. I see it by the thousands, and I, I just see what people are are missing. Most people want to try to figure out the technical the the technical side of it all, when it's really more basic than that. And and I can I can show you um, you know show you a few other real estate agent pages and compare it to what I see here on your page, and there's a huge difference just in the overall perception that one has when they when they come here. You know, but there's, there's many different things that, that I can, I can show you, but I, I don't want to take too much of your time. I just wanted to kind of see, you know, if you're running ads or maybe if I can, you know, help you with the like ad or whatever you're looking to do. Sure. You know, so, um, are you, are you, so you're not, so you're not running any Facebook ads then right now? No, I mean, like I said, I did run a couple of them. Okay. But I'm currently not, I really didn't get much out of it. What, what type of ad was it? Was it for the likes or was it for something else? Um, I think it said it was to like, um, for like more leads or something like that. I think it said. Okay. What you want to do um, when it comes to leads. Now there's, there's, there's either, it's either you're going to be running a Facebook ad for a listing or you'll be running a Facebook ad someday for an open house coming up. But if it's not a listing or an open house, then we're just looking for overall leads. Whether I'm looking for listings, so I'm looking for seller leads, or whether I'm looking for buyers and I'm trying to find buyer leads. Those are pretty much the two type of leads, right? Buyer leads or, or seller leads. So if, we don't, if we're not running a Facebook ad for a listing anytime soon or an open house, 99% of the time, if you are running Facebook ads, it would be for a buyer or a seller, seller lead. But in that case, what most don't do, what most agents don't do, is they don't give away something for free upfront of value. 
So for example, to, to capture leads on social media, let's say you're running a Facebook ad or an Instagram ad or any ad on the internet. You always, you always want to be able to give something upfront for free. And in your case, being a, being an agent or a broker, your case, you want to give away a seller guide or a buyer guide. You want to be able to entice that person because you're, if you're advertising to people, especially people that don't even know you, even if you've been in your area forever, let's say you yeah. live there forever and you're now running a Facebook ad to your local area. If you're in a bigger city, like I'm here in San Diego, you know, there's over 3 million people. I've been here since I've been born. Like I've been here since day one, over 40 years now, I've been in San Diego, but I don't even know my neighbors, right? So it's like, if I ran a Facebook ad, the chances of these people in my area knowing me, just because I lived here forever, millions of people don't even know who I am. So a lot of the times we'll try to run ads to a cold market which is your, your, your local area. Not everyone knows you. We try to run ads to a cold market and, 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 and in hopes of, get, of them giving us their information, phone number, name, email, but what are you giving them? Especially if it's not information on a listing or if it's not information right. on, on an open house, because a listing, if you promoted a listing, that's something that me and my wife may see. And we may be thinking of moving and, and we, and we're interested in your listing. You're, you're, you're actually giving me something. You're giving me information on something that I want, which is information on a listing. Same thing with an open house. But if it's not that, it's, it's regarding buyer lead or seller lead. What are you giving me? Like, I, I never even seen you before. I'm not Facebook friends with you. I don't know you have a business page. I'm seeing your Facebook ad for the first time. Yeah, you may live down the street and you're targeting me with a Facebook local ad, but I've never seen you before. So what are you giving me in exchange for my information, right? And that's what a lot of agents don't do. They'll just try to run an ad in hopes of getting a lead, but that lead doesn't know you. What are you enticing them with to want them to exchange their information with yours? And, and so what I'm trying to say is, is in your case, it's a perfect, perfect case. Perfect, perfect giveaway, a perfect offer is a free buyer guide or a free seller guide. And that's as simple as a PDF, you know, someone sees your ad, click learn more to download your 2020 seller guide. You know, 10 tips to increase the value of your home before selling. You know, it, it, it's something of value and, and it's something that, that, that's free. It's a PDF. It's something that I can easily click on and download. And, and in order for me to download it, I'd have to give you my name and email and there goes your lead. So Tracy gets a lead. She's happy. The person who saw your ad and who gave up their name and email in exchange for your free PDF because they want information on what it's going to take to sell, they, they're happy as well. And so when you run an ad, here's how, how ads look. And again, listing, open house, those are random Facebook ads. What you'll want to focus on if you are going to be jumping into the Facebook ad arena and, and looking for leads which is what I highly, highly recommend you do. You have to start getting familiar with Facebook ads. Um, it's the only way you're going you're gonna to grab the attention of your local market. Social media mm -hmm. is not your local market. You're, you're in a completely different state. Like majority of the people that are friends with us on social media, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Instagram, whether it's LinkedIn, I don't care if you have 3,700 connections on LinkedIn, 99% of them don't even live in your area. And when it comes to your Facebook friends, I know it's 99%, but I'll say 90, I'll give you 10%. Nine out of every 10 friends that you have on your personal Facebook page don't live in the area. So these are the people that we're trying to promote to. That's organic social media and, and trying to post all the time. When again, why? The majority of these friends don't even live in my area. So I have to run a Facebook ad. Like I have to target my local area. And when it comes to real estate, normally it's just a couple zip codes that you're farming. So for me to get their attention, I need to run a Facebook ad. And so as you look at the news feed right here in the middle, and we're just scrolling through, scrolling through, seeing what everyone's up to. And then all of a sudden, let's see if we come across a sponsored ad. Um, Here's a sponsored ad right here. Okay, perfect example. Anytime you see the word sponsored, mm -hmm. this is a Facebook ad. So here's the text. Here's the image. This could be an image on, on, this could be an image of your 2020 seller guide. 
Hey guys, click learn more. Get the top 10 tips on how to increase the value of your home before selling. Now we're capturing seller leads. Or you can do the same thing with the buyer guide. Hey guys, a lot of people are buying in 2021, 2020, 2020 and 2021. We put together a free PDF 15 pages of, of, of all the steps that you need, to, you, need to, you need to do first in order to make sure you qualify for your next home. Click learn more. Here's the learn more button. Click learn more to download your free 2020 buyer guide. And that could be a 10 page PDF giving me steps on what it takes to purchase. The importance of my FICO score, the importance of my debt to income ratio, the importance of speaking to a lender first. All these different random things that Tracy already knows, that could easily be in a 10-page PDF that you're giving away for free. And so when we, click, when we see that ad, again, you're targeting your local audience. You're, we're clicking learn more. And right when I click learn more, here's what agents fail to do. When I click on learn more, you have to take me to one single page like this. And this is for a seller guide, for example. Download your free step-by-step -step guide to selling your home fast. I'll walk you through the process and explain how we customize our plan to fit you. One single page, one yellow button, they click on that and they download your free PDF. That is someone who is interested in selling. Now, they might be looking to sell today. They might be looking to sell tomorrow. They may be looking to sell next year, but they're looking to sell. There's no way in heck they would download a seller guide if there was absolutely right. zero interest, right? So, but what I'm saying is most agents don't give away anything for free. And in your case, it's very simple. A free PDF of a buyer guide or a free PDF of a seller guide. If you did that, and here's another thing. Most agents do not run Facebook ads consistently. They'll try to run one here and there. They may spend 15, 20 bucks and shut it off. And, and, and how I know this, Tracy, let me just kind of give you some context of where I'm even coming from. Like, here's my personal page over here. My 5,000 friends, and this is a public list, like you can go look at every single friend. My 5,000 friends, 4,999 are real estate agents. The only one on this list out of 5,000 who is not an agent is my wife. And that's this one right here, Melina. She's the only one out of 5,000 who is not an agent. So I've been in marketing forever. I don't want to bore you to death with, with all that, but it was, it was in 99, 1999 when I jumped into internet marketing and online marketing and, and really trying to craft and master what it takes to capture a lead on the internet. I've been doing that since 1999. But in 2010 is when I became a lender. So I was in the mortgage industry here, licensed for the state of California and licensed for the state of Washington. So I did mortgages very successfully from 2010 to 2016. And that's where I met a ton of realtors. And I knew because I had a marketing background, I knew the majority of them were not leveraging social media. And so it wasn't until 2016 when I leave mortgages to start helping real estate agents and consulting them on all this. So right. what I'm telling you is what I've been telling agents since 2016. But, but on the other side, I've spoken to thousands of agents. Now, when you follow thousands of people, Tracy, you start to see different patterns. When you follow thousands on social media, you start to see patterns. You start to see different habits. You start to see what they start to post. Mm -hmm. When you follow thousands of people, 5,000 in this, in this case, when you follow thousands of people who literally all have the same job, you really start to see things. I'm seeing, and this is since 2016. So it was in 2016 when I removed all my real friends, old classmates, my cousins, my in-law, my brother, my, my mom, my cousins, like whoever, my old friends from elementary. We all have those handful of people that we actually know who make up our friends on Facebook. I literally removed all of them, put them on my Instagram, because my objective in 2016 was to start requesting you guys and helping you guys with all this. And so today I'm at 5,000. Today I've spoken to thousands of you guys on this exact topic. And so when you look at 5,000 and you look at what everyone's posting, I'm here to tell you everyone's doing it wrong. Like everyone's, it's not that they're doing it wrong. It's just everyone's missing the basics. Like we're, we're again, as I mentioned, we're thinking of the technical side of it all when it's really the basics on, on what we're missing. And so the like ad, that's how you and I got here. You sent me an invite to like your page. 
that's what every agent does. Like I can click my notifications. Every Mindy invited you, Kelly invited you, Renee, Jen, um, Anita, Amanda, Stephanie, Kim, Stacy, Ashley. I can go on for days. Tania, Don, Heidi. Every single agent out of my five thousand clicks invite. When I go to their page, and again, I've been doing this since twenty sixteen. So at this point, I've literally looked at tens of thousands of business pages because my five thousand. Those aren't the same 5,000 since 2016. A few unfriend mm -hmm. me, I unfriend a few, and then I get, I, re I replenish and I request more. Just like you and I, we probably haven't been friends for that, that long, right? right. So I keep my 5,000 fresh. That's my list. Just like you, you have a list. You have a list of buyers, of potential buyers. You have a list of potential sellers. You have a list. Well, my 5,000, that's kind of my list as well. So I keep it fresh at all times. And so at this point, I've spoken to thousands, but I looked at, tens of thousands of business pages and 10 out of 10 of you guys have anywhere from 100 to 300 likes so i've seen it all and so what you want to do in this case is this is this needs to be at 1600 like right away but i'll get to that that's what i call step two and i ended up writing a book about all this stuff but um here's what you can do i mean let me let me let me pull up your business page where's your where's your business page at let's let's let me pull that one up real quick What's your um, page? Just, just Tracy Daniels, and I think it's like real letter behind it. Tracy Daniels. Um, okay, let's see if I can, oops. Okay, so let me see if I can find the page. Perfect, this one, right? Okay, cool. So, gosh, is that a real house? It's one of ours on our um, brokerage site. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Is that in Arizona? Yeah. Oh wow, that is amazing. Wow, so here's what you wanna do, and this is what I call step two. There's five basic steps, which I can explain in five minutes. Like this is, step, this is basic stuff that's gonna really make a lot of sense. But here's what you wanna do, and this is what I call step two, and I might as well start here. This 393, that's the first impression that people have the moment they land here. When I come to your personal page, this intro is the first impression. So rather than just having realtor, and this is what I call step one, and I'm going to kind of go back and forth, but it'll make sense to you here in the next two minutes. This is what I call step one, this intro. This like count is what I call step two. But these are the two first impressions. So when I connect with Tracy on her personal page as a friend for the very first time, that's what I see. Realtor at Russ Lyon. Now, here's the deal. Unless you're requesting and accepting a ton of realtors or a ton of lenders or a ton of, a ton of title reps or escrow officers, unless you're re requesting and, and, and your friend list consists of those types of people who are actually in the business, mm -hmm. majority of people who are not in the business don't know that this is not your page. Because you have it listed to the average person who works at the mall or the average person who works at Home Depot, whatever, all these random friends that we have, to the average person, they don't know this is not your page. They're clicking on it, thinking it's your page, liking it, thinking they're supporting you when it does Tracy absolutely no good. But you have it listed. So rather than listing their page, here's how you should update this intro. I come across Tracy's page and this is what I see. I come across Candy's page and this is what I see. I don't know Candy no more than I know Tracy, but I'm coming here for the first time and that's what I see. So right away, she's showing me a link straight to her business page, not her brokers. And then, I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? And, and, and also what sticks out is this. And again, as I started in the beginning of our call, social media branding, this is our brand. It's the, it's the credibility, it's the perception, it's the first impression, it's what people see when they connect with us on social media. Either I'm seeing stuff like this or I'm not. And so again, following thousands of agents, I'm just here to tell you that in your business, and you already know this, in your business, branding is everything. Like especially offline, you probably have your face on many different things, your business card, a, yard, a for sale sign, if you have a decal on the side of your car, like your face 
should be on many different things offline, direct mail, your face, whatever. On social media, this is kind of where, where, where it all starts as well, is right here, these social media links, basic branding. Everything is identical. Everything is hedge properties. Everything is listed. Everything is matching. Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, her website address. So again, to someone brand new and connecting with you for the first time, seeing that type of information throws off a different perception. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm, definitely. That, that's basic. That's step one. And again, that's what everyone misses. And rather than having your broker's link here, this needs to be your link. And you want to add these other platforms. Now, here's the deal. You don't have to know anything about these other ones. What you do need to know as an entrepreneur, as a woman building a real estate empire, what you do need to know is where the audience is at. Today, as you know, social media is what it is. That's where everyone is at. But which platforms is it, what, which platforms are the majority of my potential clients at? And it's these ones. So, so I'm willing to assume that the majority of your clients are anywhere from maybe the age of 25 and up. If that's the case, it's Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn, and obviously Facebook. These are the top five, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. You just need to have them listed. You just need to have them active. That's it. That's as far as it needs to go. And, and, and to go the next step, to take it up a step, obviously match them all. Choose that one name, just like you did over here. Actually over here, you didn't even, you haven't even customized your Facebook page yet. So back here, this forward slash, that's where I'm getting all these other names from. So it's Instagram.com forward slash hedge properties, Twitter.com forward slash hedge properties. So over here on your business page, this should be Facebook.com forward slash Tracy Daniels Realtor, Instagram.com forward slash Tracy Daniels Realtor. And we should also have Tracy Daniels Realtor.com. So all of these characters, we need to change all that. The dash, the dash, the dash, the 11428. We need to customize and change all that. And it's very simple, but, but, but it's the brand. It's that, it's, it's that one name. Now, Tracy Daniels Realtor, that may be more common than, than, than others, so you may not be able to get that on all these other platforms, but you're, you're going to want to find one name that you can get. And okay. then whatever that one name is, you would match it with these other ones, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, even if you're not going to be on Pinterest, activate it and match it and just get it listed just so it stands out because hundreds of millions of people are on Pinterest. Tracy may not be, but hundreds of millions are. Right. And, and, and just because I connected with Tracy on Facebook, here's the reality. Here's a real fact. Just because David and, and Tracy connected on Facebook, how does she know that I don't spend 57 hours a day on Instagram? You don't know that, right? Right. But what you do need to know now, as I mentioned, is where the audience is at. The audience is on one of these. So I could have came across you on Facebook and noticed that you have your Twitter link listed because I'm on Twitter all dang day. So I click there, follow you there. And because I'm comfortable messaging you there, just like I messaged you on Facebook and that's how you and I got here today, I could have been more comfortable messaging on Twitter. And if that was regarding real estate, you better hope you get that message, right? So it, it, it's those top, it's Facebook and then these top four and then again, whatever we're going to match and, and use as our one username, that's what that's, that is, a username, it's a handle, it's a username, whatever you're going to match, also get the .com. And whenever anyone clicks on the .com, then they can go to your Rust Lion website, if you have one, which you, I'm sure you have one, but whatever website you have, that's fine. When I click on TracyDanielsRealtor.com, when I click on that link, because that link is what she has on every platform, when I click on it, you could take me to your Rust Lion website. It doesn't matter. But as long as you own that .com and as long as it matches just like this, that alone allows your brand to stand out from 99% of all these realtors in the country. Basic branding. 
That's what I call step one. That's the first impression. As, as I'm mentioning over here, the likes. When I come here and I see 394, that's the first impression. So people on social media are going to judge you. They're going to prejudge you on something. And it's that like count. Because I don't know Tracy. I don't know she's been in practicing real estate for 25 years. I don't know she's a top producer. I don't know she's been number one in her state for the past 17 years. I don't know that because I don't know Tracy. No one knows each other on social media. Right. Right. So the same way you're on this call wondering who the heck David is, I'm also wondering who the heck Tracy is. I don't know you. Right. And that's what's crazy. So we have to have that perception. We have to have this credibility. We have to have these links listed. We have to have this like number up. So for example, I come across Tracy's business page. I see 394. I come over here to Candy's page. I see 3,500. Again, I don't know either one of you, but automatically just to my, you know, just human nature, automatically I assume Candy's the one to work with. Right? It's just perception. It's a stupid number. But it's that number that gives off the credibility, the social proof, or not. Right. Right? So every agent, this is step two. Every agent, I'm telling you, let's not say 10 out of 10. I'll say 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 have anywhere from 100 to 300 likes. And okay. the crazy part about this is that these 394, whether it's 400, whether it's 500, whether it's 200, whatever – the crazy part is that the majority of the 394 came from our personal page because these are the folks that we're inviting to like the page. But as I mentioned, nine out of 10 of these folks don't even live in the area. So as I go and post my listings, as I go and post my open house, as I go and post anything regarding my real estate business, very few are going to engage because very few are in that area. That's right. why not many people click like, because it's not out of disrespect. You're posting great stuff, but mm -hmm. it's the fact that you're not in my area. So it's irrelevant to me, right? That's number one. Sure. But number two, Facebook only shows this organic post. This is what we call organic posting when we're just randomly posting on social media. That's organic posting. But Facebook only shows your organic post to 1% of your like count. So number one, most aren't even in the area. Number two, Facebook's not even, not even showing it to all 394. So we're pushed and we're forced to have to run ads. Like if I'm going to build a business on social media, I'm running, a, I'm running a Facebook ad. Especially if I'm a local business. If you're a nationwide brokerage and you're doing deals all across the country, that's different. Okay, build yourself a social media brand post organically on every dang platform and go, go freaking post until your fingers fall off. But if we're a local business owner and the majority of my deals are happening locally, I have to be running Facebook ads in 2020, which, which brings me to step. So, so step two, this 394, you have to take it at 1300 ASAP, 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 ASAP. It's not going to happen. Click an invite. You got to run a Facebook ad. And that's okay. what brought us on this call. I'll help you with that, with that ad. That's a super simple ad you'll just owe me a good review and I'll, I'll help you with that ad. That's step two. Here's step three. Step three is rather than, let's see, bidding wars on the rise. Here, here, how, let me ask you this first of all, before we get into step three. How comfortable are you with video? I haven't really done to it. I haven't done any of them actually. Okay. Are you open to it or are you somewhat thinking of, 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 of being open to it in the future? Like, how are you on that? In the future, I may. Okay. Because what you, what, the, the way you really, really want to approach this whole social media thing is, let's say, let me, let me go back to, I may have to go back to this other article, for example. This article up here, this one is talking about bidding wars are on the rise. So this is talking about, is this talking about buying? Yes. Okay. So what I, here's step three. Here's step three. Step three is when you start doing short form video on your cell phone, very unprofessional, very raw, very authentic, simple cell phone videos. When you start doing short videos, this is step three, talking about the process of buying. So rather than posting an article, what I would have done is I would have read the article and then pulled out my phone and gave my one minute version of it. 
that's my post. So forget about driving traffic to the article. Mm -hmm. I want people to see me and I'm going to talk about the article. Hey guys, this is Tracy. Hey, take check it out. I just got done reading this amazing article. Bidding wars are on the rise. And let me tell you what I learned. And so the whole topic is, is, is on the topic of buying and, and what's happening with bidding. And so now Tracy is, 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 is focused on attracting one type of person. That's what you want to do. This is step three. Don't talk about everything under the sun of real estate, everything under the umbrella. Don't come onto social media and one day talk about foreclosures, the next day talk about short sales, the next day talk about forbearance, the next day talk about selling, the next day talk about buying. Don't talk about many different things, although you know about them all. Don't, don't, don't talk about that. What you want to start doing is attracting one type of person. Focus on the buyer or focus on the seller. It's one of those two. It's not both. It's one. And as you attract that seller, that seller is going to have a cousin that's going to want to buy. That seller, as you already know this, that seller is going to have a friend who's going through foreclosure that you may be, may be able to help short sell. Overflow right. will come with that. But Tracy, her content, and this is what makes it easy for you. This is step three. It makes it very easy for you to put out a post on one topic. One topic that you're passionate about, one topic that you're fired up about. And that's either selling or buying. Pick one. And so with step three, it doesn't come down to posting on all these platforms. It comes down to Tracy doing one weekly video on that topic. And that photo or that video, excuse me, that video is a Facebook ad. So step three, the strategy is when you could start running a Facebook video ad talking about one topic every single week to your local area. That's it right there. That's it. That's what no one's doing in your industry. Everyone's posting on social media. You go to LinkedIn, you see everyone's posting their damn list in open houses when 99% of the people seeing it don't even live in the area. Mm -hmm. So forget about social media. What you want to do is narrow it in. Narrow it in. I'm going to post one video per week. I don't care if I'm shy. I don't care if I have the butterflies. I don't care if I'm insecure. I'm going to get over it. And here's the thing about this one video. What I'm telling you to do with it is not post it everywhere. What I'm telling you, telling you to do with it is run it as a Facebook ad. So as you run Facebook ads every week to your local area, as I mentioned five minutes ago, we don't even know the people in our local area. Even though if you're Miss Poplar, you still don't know everyone. So the chances are that people that actually know you, that are actually your cousin, that actually see that video, or, 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 or anyone that's your Facebook friend, the chances of them seeing it are very unlikely because you're running a Facebook ad to your local area where the majority of the people don't even know you. So you don't have to worry about your in-laws or your girlfriends seeing that video who are on your personal Facebook friend list or maybe they're following you on Instagram or they're connected with you on LinkedIn. You don't have to worry about any of those people seeing your video because that video is going weekly to my local area where the majority of people that I'm targeting don't even know me. So when you can get in the habit of running a Facebook ad one per week to your local area, that's when you're going to win. And what I'm saying also is you have to give away something of value up front. So as you, as you read this article, pull out your cell phone and do a one minute reversion of it at the end of that video. And Hey guys, by the way, I put together a free 2020 buyer guide. That's going to give you a step-by-step -step breakdown on what it takes to purchase in 2020. Click learn more. It will take you straight to my page where you can download your free copy. See you guys there. And so this video, because it's an ad, it's running to your local area 24 seven and you're doing one new one every single seven days. So next week, another video comes out. Now, now you go back to, to, to maybe, maybe you go back to bestrealestateblog.com and you go find a different article on buying. And then you do your, your little one minute video on that. But at the same time, whether it's, whether do you read an article or not, you know so much about the process of buying. It's not even funny. Mm -hmm. And you know, you know so much about the process of selling. It's not even funny.
So if you could take all that knowledge and break it down into one to two minute short form video, and again, it's one per week. So it's not posting all over social media. It's putting up one video over here per week. But the magic is on the back end because I'm running a Facebook ad on it. And not only am I running a Facebook ad on it, but I'm getting them to click learn more to come over here and download a seller guide. So this landing page, that's what you need. You don't need a website. You need a web page. This is what I call step four. Step one, listing all these links. Step two, taking that like count up. Step three, weekly video ads to your local area. Giving away something of value for free. PDF on a buyer guide or PDF on a seller guide. Pick one. Step four is when they click on that learn more button, because there's a learn more button on every ad, every ad you're going to see that learn more button. And that's what you're saying at the end of your video. Hey guys, and by the way, don't forget to click learn more, not send message. Don't forget to click learn more. It'll take you straight to my page where you can download your free seller guide or your free buyer guide. Um, this one says download. Look, you can even do download. You know, there's the text. There's the image. I'm just recommending video. There's the download. They click on download. They come straight to this page. They download your buyer guide. So step four is what I call the web page. And then, and then step five is this email automation. Step five. And is how your, do I get that? I, ha I, can, I can send you a 14 day trial. Majority of these landing page softwares run about a hundred bucks a month. The one that I use, it's $99 a month. But the reason why I recommend the one that I can recommend is the fact that it comes with the landing page software. So I can create a landing page for a seller guide. Like I can create a landing page for a listing. Like here's a basic template for a listing. You know, you're running a Facebook ad on your listing. They click learn more. They come to this one page get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. Schedule your private showing before the bidding war begins. A few bullet points on the property, view all 17 photos now, that's how you capture the lead. So there, there's many different um, softwares under there, but at the same time, I use this one to create as many landing pages as I, as I need, open house, whatever, buyer guide, whatever. Um, but it comes with the, the, the ability to, to create landing pages it comes with the email autoresponder and it comes with the online calendar because here's what happens and I'll end it right here because that's all I got for you. Here's step five. Step four is the web page, but step five is this email automation. So the moment that lead comes here and enters their name and email, and this applies for anything you're giving out or anything you're promoting, listing, open house, seller guide, buyer guide, whatever. It's the same for anything you're going to promote. It's step five email automation. The mm -hmm. moment that person comes here and they hit that yellow button, they enter their name and email, click here to RSVP. There needs to be an email that triggers right away. Hey, Dave, this is Tracy. Thank you so much for RSVP and for our open house coming up this Saturday and Sunday. We are super fired up. We have so many families that are going to be here in attendance. Make sure you come early, blah, blah, blah. That's an email that automatically went out while you were at lunch. Tomorrow, another email is going to go out. Hey, Dave, this is Tracy. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, we are so excited. We are counting down the days to our open house coming up. We are so pumped to see you. Make sure you bring your family. We're going to have some refreshments, blah, blah, blah. And that's the second email. The following day, another email has to go out. And so, again, whether it's an open house, whether it's a listing, whether it's a seller guide, whatever, there needs to be a handful of emails that nurture that lead. And, and, and in each email there's a call to action. So just like I'm telling you on that video, as you start to do videos, there's a call to action. The call to action is Tracy in the last 10 seconds of that video is telling people to click learn more. It's going to take you straight to the web page where you can get all the information. That's the call to action in the video. But in each email that goes out, the call to action is to get them to schedule a call. That's why your online calendar is so important. So for example, if I inquired on an open house and let's say it's Monday and this open house is Saturday and Sunday, I, I come across your page on Monday. I opt in, give up my name and email because I'm interested in the open house this weekend. An email triggers right away. But the following day, another email goes out. Hey Dave, this is Tracy. 
We're very excited. Thank you so much for inquiring. I know you inquired yesterday. Let me tell you a little bit more about this property and what you can expect. And hey, by the way, Dave, if you'd like to jump on a call now, I know a lot of people are super, super excited and they can't wait. If you want to jump on a call now, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So in each email that is going out, this is step five, email automation. In each email that is going out, there needs to be a call to action to get that person to schedule a call with you. Because at the end of the day, Tracy needs people on the phone. Mm -hmm. so, so when you look at everything, and I'll say this in closing, when you look at everything, the entire thing is automated. From the moment Tracy puts out that video, and runs that ad to everyone in her local area. That ad is running 24 seven without her effort. People are coming to the page and entering their information without her effort. People are receiving emails on her behalf without her effort. People are clicking the links in her email to schedule a call on her online calendar without her effort. This is what we call leverage. And all I'm convinced on is the fact that you're a local business owner. We need the attention of our local audience. The only way to get there effectively and at, at, and at a cost effective budget is a Facebook ad. That's it. You have to be budgeting for Facebook ads. It's Facebook ads and landing page software. Your fancy website that Russ Lyon gives you, that's not going to do it for you. It's a web page. I don't need a website. I need a web page where I can capture the lead, where I, where I can create a, a page based on one specific topic. Makes well, sense? Actually, I have to get a new website. Yeah, you don't need a website, in my opinion. Don't pay for it. If they're going to give it to you, fine, but don't pay for it. We don't need a website. We need a web page. We need landing pages. Because our only, only, only thing that we're going to be doing on social media, it's not for people to just click and go get information. No, it's for you to click on my ad that I'm running on my listing. It's for you to click on my ad that I'm running to give you my seller guide, that I'm running to give you a buyer guide. It's that, it's that ad that's going to draw my local attention. And when they click, they're not going to my beautiful website. They're going to my ugly, dull one page. But on my ugly, dull one page, it's effective. I click on the button, I capture the lead, and I'm capturing leads all dang day of interested people right. who live in my backyard. And I did create an Instagram account, but I don't know anything about that. You don't need to. I can easily teach okay. the basics, but at the same time, we don't need to. We just need them listed. Like we need them listed. One name, active, listed. And then once everything's listed on the personal page, then you're going to bring over everything over here to your business page. Here's my business page over here. So if I click about on the business page, because that's what people are going to do. They're going to come over here. Who the heck is Tracy? I keep seeing her ads. She lives down the street. She's from Arizona, just like us. I keep seeing her ads in my newsfeed, but who the heck is she? People are going to start clicking and clicking about. And if this is all we see, I'm losing them. So if you come to my business page and you click about, here's what you see. Inspired Digital. Inspired Digital, Inspired Digital, Inspired Digital. I'm just branding the heck out of my one name. But I'm showing you all my social media platforms. I'm showing you my website. Like I'm giving up more information. Because again, you're, it's, it's, it's not 100% it's not proof or, or guaranteed that just because you and I connect on Facebook, that's where we're going to stay. Mm -hmm. I may be more of a Twitter guy. And if I message you over there, you better hope you get it. But, but at the same time, because you're building a business and all this, Tracy, is because we're building a business. Let me make that clear 1,000%. All of this stuff is only important and critical because we're building a business. This is our brand. Mm -hmm. So I need to let people know that I'm available on these other platforms. Even if I'm not even there, even if I don't know one damn thing about Instagram. And that's the crazy thing about me is the fact that you would think because I'm over here pitching social media, you would think I'm all over the place when in reality, yeah, I have it listed, but I don't know one dang thing about Twitter. I don't know one dang thing about Pinterest. I'm never on LinkedIn. I'm very rarely on Instagram. Mm -hmm. 
but I have them listed. Everything looks legit. There's my business page. You click on that. You come to my business page. And what's, what happens when someone comes to my business page? Because Tracy doesn't know David no more than she knows John. So when she comes to my page and I bring her over here and she scrolls down and she, she sees 10,000, like you don't know me. For all you know, I could have just started this thing a couple of days ago. You don't know. But because you see 10,000, you automatically assume that I know something about something. Mm -hmm. That's credibility. I need to come to Tracy's page and see a couple of thousand. I don't need to see 10,000. And in, 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 in Candy's case, she has, what does she have, 3,500? You don't even need that many because what I'm telling you is 99% of you guys have one of 200. So it's not like you need 10,000. It's not like you even need 3,500. You need 1,000. You need 2,000. You need a couple thousand and that's it. And that's a one-time ad. That's not an ad you run every week. Like what I'm telling you with step three, as you start to talk about buying or selling and giving away a seller guide or a buyer guide, that's step three. That's when you run an ad every week to your local area. But the like ad, that's a one-time thing. You run the ad one time, you take it up a respectable number and call it a day. And all I'm saying is you should take it up at least, at least minimum to 1300. I need to come here and see 1300. You know, so, so I know that was a ton of information and I don't, I don't expect you to even remember all that. I recorded the call. So I'll send you a link because I have a YouTube channel that I help a lot of people on YouTube with all this stuff. So I'll, I'll send you this to, to recap you, but, but where you should start now, here's, here's the call to action. Now here's where you should start. Step one, all these links. We need, to, we need to give this intro a facelift. The mm -hmm. intro on the personal page needs to be linked and the about section on the business page. We need to add those links over here as well. So right here where it says more info, okay. I need to see Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter. I need to see your website address. Even if you don't have a website, get the dot com. And I have, okay. a, I have a YouTube video that I can send you that helps you with that step. That is step one. Okay. Getting the dot com, listing everything on the personal page and the business page, getting everything under one name, I'll send you that video. That's step one. That's where we need to start getting all that listed. And then step two, that like number. So what was your budget the first time when you tried it the first time? I mean, just tell me what your budget is and I'll help you run the ad. I like, think what? I only did, it was, I wanna see, cause I only did it for like a week at a time. You want to so run it for at least a month. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just doing them for like a week at a time because I was doing different, you know, different, um, different ones. Yes, for sure. What's our what's our budget for just this one ad? Like, if we could put anything towards one ad, and a lot of people, you, a lot of people look at it per day, like five bucks a day, ten bucks a day, whatever, and just running it for a month, and and that's it. So I just, it just depends on how, how high you want to go, or it just depends on your budget, really. Yeah, even like, what, five bucks a day? I mean, that one for a month, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, if you did five bucks a day and we ran that for 30 days, that number would be at 1,500 in the next couple of weeks. Okay. And that's all you need. That's, and that's it. Turn the ad off. That's a one-time ad. No more. You don't need no more than that. After that, then we focus on local lead capture, which are weekly ads. And, and I'd love to talk about, you know, talk that, talk about, talk about that with you in the next couple of weeks. Like let's let this like ad go up a little high and then, and then let's, let's chat again. I'll send you a few emails, but let's chat. Okay. And, 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 and I want to help strategize for your, for your lead capture. And if, if video isn't the thing, then we'll, we can strategize on maybe running images, but the, the strategy is to, is to think of one topic. Either we're going to go after buyers, every buyer in that local area of yours, or we're going to go help, people sell and, and look for listings. So either one, I want you to pick one, think of one, and, and, and it's a buyer guide or a seller guide that you're gonna wanna get your hands on. Yeah, video probably isn't my thing quite yet, and I think a seller would be better. Awesome, so let's focus on sellers. There's a ton of images that you can use for selling, um, but it's a seller guide, that's how you're gonna get leads. You're gonna give away a free PDF on the process of selling. Okay. So that is a strategy. And then you, and then, so that's why I tell people all the time, the only two expenses that a real estate agent should have, and this is my honest to God, truest, it's a, it's an opinion, but at the same time, I mean, I, I truly believe it's, 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 it's a fact. Like I study this stuff. 
I truly believe your only two expenses when it comes to marketing in 2020 and beyond, at least for the near future, is Facebook ads and landing page software. If you're paying for anything else and it's not giving you an ROI, you need to cancel it right away. A random website, we don't need it. Direct mail, if you're not closing deals, cancel it. Zillow leads, if you haven't closed a deal from it, cancel it. Everything needs to be canceled. We need to be running Facebook ads and we need a landing page software. That's it. Those are your two, only two expenses. So you don't need to jump all into it right now. Obviously, just start small. Like let's start small in this case, get the links up, get the like count up, and then you can gradually you know, grow from there. But, but just planting a seed in your mind, that's what you should be thinking. Facebook ads to target my local area and landing page software so I can capture the lead and email these leads. Definitely. And you're not the one emailing them. It's the email autoresponder. You'll be the one that puts the emails together. But once we put them together, which I can easily help you with, mm -hmm. then they're all automated. Perfect. Okay. So um, all I got to do is I can, like I have, like I'm working on candies, um, like this one right here. She was just at, I mean, I would say 300, 200, 250, 300, just, a, just a couple weeks ago. Like I was tweaking her ad right now. Let me show you what her ad looks like. This is her ad right here. Let me show you in the news feed. This is what it looks like in real time. So just in the last, I would say 10 days, we went up already a couple thousand likes, a few thousand, well, actually more than 3000 actually. Cause she was at about three, she was at about 300 likes. So now, yeah, we're up about 3000 in the last two weeks, but here's the ad. So as people are scrolling through, seeing what their friends are up to, seeing what everyone's posting, all of a sudden we come across a sponsored ad and here is her like ad. So all I do is I I'll type in your state and I'll type in luxury homes and Facebook okay. provides the image. And then I just write out the text. I put the image and rather than a learn more or a send message button, it's a like page. Okay. So all that person has to do is just like page or actually, let me go back. All they got to do is just scroll through, scroll through, click on like page and they can even keep going. Or obviously if they want, they can always click on the link and then they come over to the business page and they can like it from here. But the majority of people will just like it from the newsfeed from just scrolling through. And so, yeah, we've gone up already 3,000 in, in the last 10 days because we started, we started at about 300. Now, she, okay. she put a little more towards the budget. She went at $10 per day. But at the same time, I mean, it's not really needed. Like, you can do five bucks a day. And, and in your case, that would take your number past. Let's go back. That would take this number to 1,500 minimum. Okay. At, at even five bucks a day. So, all I got to do really, really quick, are you on, can you, can you go to your business page really quick? All I need to do is just request access <clears throat> to your page so I can start the ad. Um, and I'll email you a copy of the ad so you'll see exactly what it looks like in the news feed. I'll send that to you today once I start it, once I get it live. But all I'm going to do is just request access. So just let me know when you're on um, your business page. Okay. Okay. And where do I go to? All you're going to do, um, are you able to get onto it from a, um, from a computer? I'm not, I was doing it on my phone. I think you have to do it on a, on a computer because if you can see my screen, actually, let me uh, go to, let me go to my, my page so you can see what I'm getting ready to tell you. This is the view that I need you to see. Cause I don't think you're going to be able to let me know if you get a notification. I don't think you are, but let me, I'll just do it anyways but I don't think you are going to receive the notification on your cell phone, on your computer. You should. And all I'm doing here is just requesting access. Okay. So you should, you should receive a notification. And if you did not, then on your business page from a computer, this is what I want you to see. This is what you're going to have to see. Let me show you. So as you come to your business page from a computer, this is what I need you to click on. If you did not receive a notification, which you probably didn't on your cell phone, then you'll have to come to your computer and click on settings on your business okay. page right here. Okay. Okay. So click on settings. 
And then all you're going to do is click on page roles to the left. Yeah, I'll have to do it on my computer. Yeah, are you near a computer? Just click on escape and that will get you out of my out of the Zoom window and then you can go back to your desktop. And then you can just go to Facebook from there. Yeah. Okay, cool. So did you already click settings? Yeah, I'm just well, I'm just getting into it now. Okay, cool. Okay. And then page rolls to the left. Um, account security, add Facebook information, privacy, like over there. Yeah, you should see, um, are you on the new updated version of Facebook? Um, or is it the older version, the template? I'm not even sure. It just says like for privacy, account security. Are you on your business page or your personal? Page? My business. Okay. So... Are you able to pull back up the Zoom window? Can you see my? Um, I don't know where that went. <laughs> it should be. Oh, actually, let me see if it's down here. Okay. Okay, so you're, there's two different looks of Facebook now, two different templates. I'm still operating on the old template, but I know a lot of people are updated and on the new one, but the old one looks like this, where I come to my business page, and I click on settings right here in the top right. And then I click on page roles to the left. Oh, so right here you see different. page roles. Yeah, mine looks different. Are you on Zoom on your computer or on a cell phone? No, on my computer. Awesome. Are you able to, I can walk you through it. Are you able to share your screen? Um, Go ahead and um, hit the green button below and it should say share screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, share screen. I'll, I'll have to just look at it real quick and I can walk you through it. It's, everything is the same, but they're just in a completely different Okay, let me just... Order. Where did it go? You said drop down arrow on the top, top right. Right, Here. yeah, hit that. And then let's go back to your business page. So let's go to actually, you know, your business page is not there. Hit, hit the home the home button at the top, very, very top, the little home, how, yeah, click on that. And then to the left, we'll see your business page. Or you could, you could click on, yeah, that's fine, but you can click on right there, perfect. Okay, so let's go into this really quick. Yeah, I think you're, yeah, I think you're on the new, the new version. Uh -huh. Yeah, you, you are on the new version. Okay, so then this is, yeah, this is your, yeah, this is your business page. Okay, cool. So now click on, click, click on, um, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? S click on settings right at the very bottom. Yeah, let's click on settings and then we should see it over here. Page oh, right. Perfect. So just Perfect. click on this? Then. Yeah, click on that one. And then you'll see inspired digital and all you'll do is just respond to request. So if you scroll down right below pending. There it is right there, inspired digital. And then you'll just respond to request and then it'll ask you for your password and then that's it. Okay, you said it's down here? Yeah, towards actually towards the middle, towards the middle of the page. It's right there in the middle of the page to the right. Oh. There okay. we go, yeah, pending partner request. And then once the ad is done, like for example, our magic number for sure is 1500. Like once that number hits 1500, that's when the ad will pretty much be exhausted and will be towards the end of the month already. And cause I already know the numbers, like I know exactly how much we're going to be able to get at what, at what budget. So 1500 is a magic number for, for five bucks a day. And so once mm -hmm. we hit 1500, you can always come back in here and you can remove. So for example, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see remove. So now you can, you can remove me. So after we hit 1500, you can go ahead and remove me. Oh, okay. Okay. That way I don't have access to your page, but in this case, I can, I, all I can do is run an ad. I don't have any, any other information. So Great. perfect. So let me just, let me just, um, I'm going to come back to my screen real quick. And all I'm going to do is just add myself. So we added my page. 
But if I refresh this screen, I can just add my, myself and then we'll be good. And then I'll email you video number one, which will be for step one okay. on how to link everything. And then I'll, I'll um, email you an image of the ad once the ad is live. So just whatever card I can use to run the ad will be fine. But would, would, you, would I be able to ask you for a huge favor? Would you, would you be able to give me a review? Oh, like, sure. Awesome. Oh, That's all I asked for. Awesome. Is a, is a review on my page. And I'll, do, I'll, get, I'll write you a review on your page as well. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Yes, for sure. So whatever card, either Visa Master or Amex, and then I'll just email you a confirmation once the ad is live. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. What card can I use? Um, I'll, I'll send it to you. Or don't I? I think I have one on file here. Doesn't it just bill me? No, because I run it on, I'm running it on my end over here. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Is it, should I just um, send it to you? Um, I could just take it now. Okay. Um, I will have to, um, just one second. Okay. Take your time. Mm -hmm. I'll email you a confirmation once the ad is live. Okay. Five, one. Okay. Seven, eight.